This is episode 8 of our fluid mechanics tutorial series. Today we are going to cover an easy concept buoyant force here. So what is buoyant force? If we have an object immersed in a fluid that is denser than the object, then object experiences an upward force of gamma v, where gamma is the specific weight of the fluid and v is the displaced volume, not the volume of the object itself. So why people float in the Dead Sea? It is because the specific weight of the water in the Dead Sea is higher than the human body. From the data here, you expect about 20% of the human body can float above the sea water level. The book has provided a force balance method to find the buoyant force. Now we use another method way to prove the Archimedes principle. First, we show that this formula is true. So we start by picking a constant vector C. And the constant vector goes inside. And by divergence theorem, and we can bring the constant vector out again. So we have the constant vector dot. And we can factor the constant vector out. And this thing equals zero. So what it says is any constant vector dot this thing goes to zero. So you can take the constant vector to be any orthogonal base, say i, j, k. Then we must conclude that this thing goes to zero equals this thing. So, with the formula we just proved, we show that this integral equals this force. So, but gradient of P equals partial P partial Xi plus partial P partial Yj plus partial P partial Zk. And clearly, P is not a function of X or Y. And we have parcel p parcel z equals rho g. So we have gradient of p equals rho g k. And we plug in and we find that f equals negative integral of rho g k dv. And these are just constants. So what's left is the volume of the solid. And that is the weight of the salt. Now we do a harder example. This example also involves hydrostatic force on plane surface. To do this, we first draw a free body diagram of the cylindrical mass. So this is the weight, and this is the tension, and we have the buoyant force here. Now this can be calculated. This is our unknown. But what is the tension? So we also have to consider the gate. So we draw a free body diagram for the gate. This is our tension. And we have water surface here. This is 2.5. And we have hydrostatic force here. This is the pressure center location, YR. Now these two can be calculated from the previous formulas. So we can find the tension. So we start working. FR equals gamma HCA. That is for water, 9.8k. Hc is the location of the center of the gate, and that is half of h. So it's about that half of h. And the vector area is the h times the width of the gate. So we write down 2.5 times 2. And with the calculator, we find that this is 61.25 kN. And YR is the location of the pressure center, and that is YC plus IHC divided by YC times area. Again, YC is HC, and the area is here, but IHC is BA cubed 
divided by 12, and that is the width of the gate times 2.5 cubed divided by 12. That is 2. Point. And we plug in the values, that is 1.25, Rxc, Yc, and area, and that is 1.6667 meter. So this length is 1.6667, and we find the moment arm to be d equals h minus y r, and that is 2.5 minus 1.6667, and that is 0.83333 meter. And by moment balance, so we have the tension here going clockwise, and this goes anti-clockwise. So we have 4t equals dfr. And we substitute in the values. So we get t equals 12.76 kN. But we haven't determined this force, so we now determine this force. Volume equals base area times height, and height is h minus 1, that is 9.8k times pi 1 squared divided by 4, 2.5 minus 1, and that is. And here we have these two forces going up and the weight going down, so we have mg equals e plus gamma volume and that is mass equals t plus gamma v divided by g we plug in the values and we are done with this example so today we derive Archimedes principle with a method approach. We also went through two examples about buoyant force. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching. Feel free to ask us any question and give us any feedback in the comments.